Okay, I'm at 19 Renshaw. This is the bed here. We're going to want to screen from the fence over approximately 10 feet over. Okay, which is approximately four or five feet from the dogwood. So screen from the fence about 10 feet over and leave another space open underneath the dogwood just to get some screening from next door. Um, then we're going to transplant everything in this bed to make more sense out of it. But we have two tree hydrangea, I'm sorry, two hydrangea, uh, two rhododendrons about two feet by two feet each, a hosta about three feet by one foot. And the hydrangea, after they're trimmed, call it two feet by two feet each. I say we leave the auto lichen laurel where it is. And we do have a little gap in space here where we can transplant stuff kind of in front of the, uh, the dogwood tree in this area. Um, then over here, one consideration is planting on the end of the driveway. That's one consideration. Then we have one, two, three azalea, two hydrangea, all about 18 inch by 18 inch. Um, roughly 18 feet by three and a half foot wide bed. Then we have the landscape in front of the deck, which should all be low except for one on the corner, which would be the uh, Green Mountain Boxwood. The landscaping out here as well. Okay. She wants to consider putting a vegetable garden back here. Now, the only issue is might not be enough sunlight, so she might end up putting the vegetable garden back there instead, where there's more sunlight. But all in all, there's, there's Lakoth over here. These two plants are both Lakoth. There's actually three. One, two, three. The two big ones are, call it, three feet by three feet. Um, and there's actually one, two, there's two three. There's three of them, three feet by, call it three feet by three feet, and there's a little one, one foot by one foot, Lakoth, which I think we should end up moving as well. Maybe just turning that into a grass area. Underneath here, we've got some bark, wood chips, but probably a much better idea just to put some ground cover. It is very wet, so you got to be careful not to uh, kill the roots of the plants if we put something underneath there. Then, we've got a bunch of plethora in here. There's probably three or four plants. And those we can consider transplanting. The pink perennials we could consider transplanting. There's either two or three of those. And then make this all lawn in here. Okay. And that's it.